Hello, my name is Matt Johnson and I am one of the school counselors at TS South High School. And today I'm going to walk you through selecting your courses in PowerSchool. The first thing I want to do before I do that is I want to show you where our district curriculum guide is. It's a great resource for classes um, and graduation requirements, so we just want to make sure that you understand uh, what classes we offer and if you aren't sure what something is, the curriculum guide will tell you. So you can find it under academics and then click District 215 curriculum guide and then here is our curriculum guide. You can see the graduation requirements listed here so all students and parents should be uh, aware of what is required for students to get their TSL diploma and then scrolling down further it has the different departments and all the course descriptions listed. It also lists prerequisites for each class, so you have to make sure you take the prerequisite um, before you take any of the upper level courses. So this is a great resource for, uh, for all of our students and parents. Now to pick your classes in, Power, in uh, PowerSchool, you first have to log in. So uh, if you don't know how to do that already, what you're going to want to do is go to our the TS Health homepage here and you're going to select PowerSchool. And then from here, you uh, students all have a username and password and parents should have created this when they completed registration. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so when you log into your PowerSchool, this is what you see. It has all your grades here. Um, and then on this navigation bar over to the side, it's got a lot of different information on here. What we're looking at right now is we're looking at class registration. So I'm going to select class registration. And you can see here, this is where I'm going to pick my classes. But before you start, I want you to read this little paragraph at the top. Um, so it talks about our District 215 uh, Curriculum Handbook. So again, you can actually access it here by click, clicking on the Curriculum Handbook. Um, and then also we want to make sure that uh, you're, you are picking good, challenging classes for your, yourself next year and want to make sure everything's appropriate. So please talk to your current teachers or your counselor about uh, recommendations for you for next year if you aren't sure what you want to take. So students must select a total of six classes. You're going to take select four core classes, one English, one social studies, one science, one math class, and then you're going to select two semesters of PE unless you're in band. If you're in band you're going to select a full year of band and one elective. Okay, so those are the six classes that you'll be taking next year. We also want you to select two alternate electives, two to three alternate electives, in the event that your first choice isn't available. You can also take a second class as a sophomore uh, to do that, you'd have to select an early bird class, and we would want you to complete this early bird request form, and then I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, and then make sure at the end you want to click Submit at the very bottom here, after we select all of our classes. And then your online registration window uh, closes Thursday, January 21st at 3 p.m. So make sure you get this done before then. And don't worry, after that date, if you have any questions, or you want to make any changes, you can contact your counselor uh, to make those requests. So let's start with um, the first course. So we have English. Okay, so this is one of our core courses, and it's got the red exclamation mark next to it because it's required. So to select my English class, I'm going to click on the pencil. And English 10 has two different levels, so it's either English 10 or Honors English 10. So I'm going to select my English class. And then I select OK, and you can see it's saved here. Next course I'm going to select is Social Studies. So I do the same thing. You can ask your current world history teacher about what level of uh, US history they would recommend for you to take next year. But I'm just going to stick with the, the college prep US history. Next is Science. These are the different levels of science of chemistry that we offer. So I'm going to select regular chemistry. Math I have to take again as a sophomore. I'm in Algebra 1, so now I'm going to take 
geometry. Be careful when you're selecting your geometry class. The one that has the ET at the end of it, that course number, refers to our extended time geometry. If you're in extended time algebra and you're, that teacher is recommending you continue in the extended time math next year, you're going to select the geometry course with the ET. Um, but if I'm just taking the regular geometry, I'm going to take the one that ends in the three zeros. All right, so these are the four core classes that I have to take. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to either select PE or band. So I'm not in band, so I'm going to select my semester one PE. So I click the pencil. Most sophomores want to take driver's ed to try and get their driver's license, so that's how I feel. So I'm going to select survey of PE with driver's ed as my uh, first choice. And then for my second semester PE class, I'm going to select health. If I didn't take health already as a freshman, if you did, you don't need to take health anymore. It's only required one semester to get your diploma. So again, if you've already taken health, you do not need to take that anymore. I'm going to select weight training because I'm an athlete and most athletes, coaches would like you to be in weight training class. So there's five out of my six classes, full year, full year, full year, full year class, and then these are each a semester, so that's five. If I'm in band, I'm going to leave the PE section blank, and I'm going to click this, and I'm going to select the level of band that uh, our band director has recommended for me. But since I'm not in band, I'm going to leave that section blank. All right, so my six class is my elective, so you, I'm going to choose my elective now right now they're all when you first open it they're all listed alphabetically but you can click on the course number and it'll sort them by department so you can see all the foreign language electives are here first and then we have theater um, if you don't see what you're looking for re remember that there are or notice that there are multiple pages so I'm gonna select the second page um, we have a couple more electives. We have our CTE classes. We have our fine arts courses. So I'm going to, I want to take language. Okay, so I think as a sophomore, I should probably take Spanish too. But wait a minute. Um, there's a little alert here that says I haven't taken Spanish one, so it's not letting me select Spanish two. So if I want to do a language, I know that I have to select Spanish 1. And then I click OK. So if that's what you want, these are the six classes that I'm, that I'm requesting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these are each a semester, remember, and 6. All right, so what we want you to do is we want you to select some alternate electives, just in case Spanish 1 doesn't fit on my schedule. So I am going to go into here, and if I can't get Spanish 1, then maybe I want to take Theater Arts 1, and we want you to select three of these. Intro to Engineering and Intro to Culinary Arts. Those are all the beginning level of those courses. Um, so these are the elective courses, I, or alternate electives that I would like to take. Now, there's one more option for you guys. Uh, you guys can take an early bird class your sophomore year, and if you're going to do that, that means you're going to select one of these alternate electives as your seventh class. Sophomores are not able to get out early. So if I want to take an early bird class, and I do, I'm going to select one of these three courses. These are the only courses that are offered for sophomores for early bird. So I have to make sure that I choose one of the classes from here that I already selected previously. So the only one on here that I've already selected is chemistry. So that's the early bird class I'm going to take. Okay, so right now I'm requesting early bird chemistry, Spanish, weight training and PE, geometry, US history, and English 10. So you can see down here it says um, I'm requesting seven credit hours, so that means seven periods. And then I would click Submit. Once I click Submit, it's going to save it.
and you can see these are the the main courses that I selected don't worry about chemistry being on there twice your counselor will delete the extra chemistry class and uh, these are the alternate courses that you are you are requesting now once you if you select early bird you have to fill out this early bird request form so we know which one of these three alternate electives you want to have so the link is here I'm gonna click early bird request form and again you have to make sure you're logged into your Google account with your school email for this to work put your student ID number first name last name uh, you're doing it all sophomores have to do this to take an extra class so I would select that and then here for the seventh class I'm going to type whichever class um, I want to take so let's say I want to do intro to engineering I would type that there all right so again you can see once we submit it our courses are saved and um, we want you to remember that counselors will be available during the, your lunch periods uh, when the registration window is open for you guys, which is next Tuesday, the 19th through the 21st. In the email that we sent, there are Zoom links for you to join and meet with a counselor, and they will be able to answer any questions for you. You can also email your counselors ahead of time um, and discuss some different options and speak with your teachers just to get recommendations and make sure you're making good solid choices for your classes for next year. Um, and again, if you have any, ever have any questions after your window closes, please feel free to email you, your counselor. Um, I hope this has helped you understand how to easily pick your classes online through PowerSchool. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the building soon. Have a great rest of the year.